Hello everyone and welcome to Math 102 Online. My name is Graham Smith and I'm going to be your instructor this semester. And in this video I'm just going to kind of give you a little overview to get the course started. So what I've done here is I've gone to the KCC homepage and once you're on the KCC homepage we're going to log into the Bruin portal which is right up here at the top. I'll click on the Bruin portal. I'm going to sign in. Now this sign in is just your KID. So your normal KID and your normal password just like you use for email. So we're signing into the portal here. And once we sign in we'll see a lot of choices here. Now the course initially, I have all the initial information for the course over here in Moodle. So you're just going to want to click on Moodle. And then you'll have other courses here and they'll be listed as well. And you can see some of my courses I have here in my site. So let's go down here and we'll take a look at uh, Math 10290. If you're in Math 102.92, it's the same, or sorry, Math 102.91 or 92, all this process will be the same. So we'll click on that. My Moodle page is going to look a little different than yours because I have some other stuff since I'm the instructor here. But basically what we're going to do is I've got three items here for you to take a look at to get the course going. So we'll take a look at this first one here, Course Materials and Tools. All right. And here we're going to take a look now at course materials and tools. So let's talk about the class. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the Practical Algebra Textbook Bundle. So you can get this at the KCC Bookstore. That's the only place to get this, but it's very inexpensive. Um, so you can purchase it online and have it shipped to your house, or you can purchase it online and have it uh, curbside pickup right now during COVID. Um, uh, when the campus opens back up, of course, we could just go in and get the book. Second thing now, uh, a good mechanical pencil or several number two pencils. We're going to make mistakes in this class and you're going to want to be able to erase. So just go ahead now and get yourself a nice pencil or several number twos. Uh, next one is a smartphone. We're going to need a smartphone for this course. In fact, I have most of the course set up so that we can just use our phone to do this course. You don't necessarily need a computer to do this course. Smartphone will do it. Uh, course videos are on YouTube. So we're all familiar with YouTube. So we're also going to be using Microsoft Teams in this class. And that's going to be our learning management system. So I'm only using Moodle to get the course started. After this, we're going to be using Teams for the rest of the semester. And Teams allows us for texting back and forth when we have questions. It also allows us to do video chats when we want to have some tutoring. Um, our assignments are going to be lo located there. You're going to be uploading your assignments and your tests in Teams. So we're really going to be using Microsoft Teams for everything. It also has the grade book in there, so that's where we'll be keeping our grades this semester. Um, you can download this, and I'll talk about that in just a second. It's really easy to get. Uh, the other thing we're going to be using is the OneDrive app, and this is another Microsoft product. Um, and what OneDrive does is it's going to allow us to take pictures of your completed work, both homework and tests, and then attach those in Teams to the assignment pages. And I've got a video right down here showing you how to do that. So when we're getting ready to turn in our first homework assignment here, you'll be able to watch this video and see how to do that. I will say this, please, when you're scanning your homework, don't scan every page and send me the page one at a time. There's a way, an easy way in OneDrive to scan all of your pages at once, save it as all one big PDF, and then submit it. That makes it so much easier for me to grade. Let's see, the only other thing we need to talk about is a calculator. Um, in chapter one, we are not going to be using calculators. We're doing a lot of computation that it's important that you learn how to do this by hand. So chapter one, no calculators. After that, we can use any sort of scientific calculator. And most of you already have a scientific calculator on your phone. If you unlock your screen and turn your phone lengthwise, your normal, regular, simple calculator will turn into a scientific calculator. And that's fine. And that's all you'll need for this class. If your phone doesn't do that, then you might want to look elsewhere to get a scientific calculator for the course. But again, that's not chapter one. That's just chapters two through ten. Okay, so that does it for our course tools and materials. So the next document we're going to want to look at is this getting started checklist. Okay, so what I've done in the checklist here is I've just given us a bunch of steps to make sure as we go through this that we're ready to start the class and we have all the important information. So you can read right through my introduction here. Welcoming you. There I am. Hello. Uh, come down here and read through all of our steps. 
So first on the checklist, I want you to read through the class, organization, and tools. Listen, all of these things that I'm talking about in the checklist too are in this same document. They come right after the, the checklist. You're going to read through class, organization, and tools. Get the Teams One Drive, Teams and OneDrive apps on your phone. If you want to use a computer, that's fine too. You can get Teams and OneDrive apps on your computer. Um, next thing I want you to do is I want you to read through in the document whether you're in the right class. So students usually in your position need to take Math 102 or Math 105. And I have a document in here explaining the differences between those two. If you read through that and you're not sure which class to take, then you can text me through Teams and I'll let you know. Um, I want you to then read through the schedule of topics. I have all the test dates outlined in the schedule down there. I want you to make sure that if you have a conflict with any of these test dates, you let me know so that we can work around that. Um, you're allowed to make up one missed test in this class. That's it. So you don't want to miss these test deadlines. But we can, as long as we get in front of this, schedule alternative dates to take tests. But if you wait till after the event, then that counts as a missed test. So if you got a conflict with the schedule, let me know now. Read through the syllabus, and then you can see how I'm going to calculate your grade, how your grade's going to be scored in the semester. Now in math, we always need help. So there's a bunch of different tutoring options here, and I want you to explore in Checklist 5 the online tutoring options. We have this link here takes you to online tutoring at KCC, which is Monday through Friday during normal business hours. We also have another link right on the Moodle page there for uh, tutoring that goes from noon to midnight. So if it's late night and you need tutoring help, you can still get that. All you got to do is go back to the course Moodle page and click there on the tutoring link and it will take you to a tutor. Anyways, I want you to explore this. So use this link, check in, and then write down the name of your tutor there. And when you're sending me, you're going to send me kind of a, a Teams text that says, hey, I've completed this checklist. I've gone through everything. One of the things you're going to want to put in that checklist then is the name of the tutor that you spoke with. You don't have to get any tutoring help from them. Just let them know that you're checking in and seeing how tutoring works and just exploring that option. Okay, as I already mentioned before, we got to get the textbook. Got to have the textbook from this class. Get that bundle through the KCC bookstore. Uh, I want you to read through the homework grading rubric. Rubric. There's a certain way I want you guys to be working your assignments, and I'm going to want you to write out a lot of steps to the math problems. So read through that rubric so you understand how it is I'm going to score your homework and what I want you to do as you're turning in your homework assignments. After you get done with that, then we can look at step eight here, which is your first homework assignment. So your first homework assignment is to do section 1.1 in your textbook without a calculator, and you can read through this information here to see how to get to the YouTube channel to find the video that goes along with homework one. Uh, let's see, and I want you to turn in all the practice questions as well as the exercises. So the practice questions, those come up in the video. This will make sense when you watch the video. Practice questions, those come up in the video. After you're done watching the video, then you have exercises on your own. So I want you to turn those things in to me every time we do a homework assignment. Okay, after you get your homework assignment done, then you're gonna use the OneDrive app to scan all the pages, not just one at a time, but scan all those pages, and then attach them to assignment 1.1 in Teams. And there's a video, I have a video down in the document here that shows you how to do that, so that'll be real clear how to do that. And then once you get done with all those things, you're going to use Teams, because you'll be signed up for it now, to send me a text telling me you've gone through all the steps in the checklist, you've turned in your homework, and you're going to give me the name of your tutor that you spoke with. Okay, so as I mentioned, here's where all of this information is going to come in the checklist. So I scroll down a little bit. Here's all about class organization and tools. Uh, how to communicate, which I said we're going to use Teams. How to complete your first homework assignment. Here's that video that I was talking about. It shows you how to scan and upload it to the Teams assignment. And then here is taking the right class. So you want to make sure you read this second there or quickly. You want to make sure you're reading the right class, taking the right class here. And then uh, here's our schedule of topics. And I've got it outlined in a table at first, and then we just get down here. Once you get the routine in my class, we've just got it listed by the weeks here. I'm, I'm very much, once I get a routine established, we'll stick with that routine. Uh, we are going to be testing at home, so you're not going to have to make appointments or anything like that. We're just going to be testing at home using Teams for those tests. So there's our schedule final exam schedule. 
And then here's the syllabus again. You can read through the syllabus. If you have any questions as you're reading through these documents, feel free to text me in Teams and I'll get right back with you. Here's the homework grading rubric I talked about. An example of good homework, good student homework, and then some that's not quite so good. So uh, go ahead and read through all this document and do that checklist. I think once you're done with that, you're really ready to get the course started and going. I have the syllabus listed here again, but that's the same syllabus that you see in the Getting Started Checklist, so there's no reason to go to this syllabus here. Um, I just put it there um, in case later on in the semester you wanted to just access the syllabus. This would be an easy way to get to it instead of scrolling through that whole document. So if you go through Topic 1, Course Materials and 2, Topic 2, Getting Started Checklist, you'll have the course up and running. And again, if you have any questions, uh, text me in Teams. If Teams is not working for you some reason, you can always email smithg at kellogg.edu.